peaches, I know, cold sores. Get off. Okay. This is a laboratory where we do work to learn more about the causes of mental illness. Um, what we're doing at the moment, we're embarking on what's really the world's largest study of bipolar disorder, so that we can understand the way the illness varies from person to person. When would be the worst depression that you've had? Is there a particular time you can yeah. think of that was when the worst? My first husband left me. Right. Yeah. I right. couldn't stop crying. Right. Screaming, crying, won't sleep, and right. security, brain security, coming to me and told me to pray right there, crying for days, and they knocked me out, give me some of it. unconscious. But it all stemmed back from being a kid. Uh, it's all my mum. Did it affect your, th your thinking? Did you have any kind of odd or peculiar ideas during any of the depression? I honestly think someone's always watching my house. Do you always think yeah. that? Yeah. Uh -huh. I always think someone's watching my house. I always think it's right. social services. OK, all right. <laughs> now, I've asked you some things about times when you've been depressed. What I want to do now is ask you about times that you've been high. I want to do everything. Right, OK. Right, because, all right, we'll go away, we'll do that. We've got this yeah. fire. OK. And he's like, whoa, calm down. Is it a very pleasant state to be in, or, or do, is it sometimes so, actually not no, so nice? Sometimes or? I like being in it, but sometimes I'm like, I just don't know what to do with myself. So you're more... I want to get out of my own skin. Yes. I just don't... Uh... Right, alcohol. Looking back, when would be the heaviest sort of drinking you were doing in your life? When I spoke with my first husband. OK. Binge drinking at weekends, All Friday, right. okay. Friday, Saturday. Well, give, give me and an idea. And then during the day, like, even in the morning, I'd have a drink. Right. I could drink loads. Uh, I'd drink loads when I was on the cocaine. Right. Just tell me about cocaine, then. You, you, you explained well, that time. Well, I started off on speed. Okay. My mum gave me speed when I was 14. Right. And thought it was, and Karen taking it. I was doing what my mum was doing, mm. really. Okay. Because the fit my mum told me to ship it. <laughs> right, OK. I think I've probably asked you the things that so, I need to ask you. Am I nuts? <laughs> are you nuts? No, you're not nuts. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you are. You, you, no, you, you, you're definitely bipolar. <laughs> and I think, you know, a lot of the things that you've described are things which other people with bipolar illness also experience. Yeah. The key bit, I think, is that everyone's experience of bipolar disorder is somewhat different. Yeah. And, it, and you obviously have a form of illness where your mood can kind of vary a lot, even from, from hour to hour, as yeah. well as having sort of longer periods of being either high or low. Um, and that, obviously, that makes things quite difficult to, to manage. And yeah. it can certainly take quite a lot of months to get someone stable. Yeah. Right, you know your mum's got it and you've got it. Yeah, well that's one of the quick Yeah, it is a ready trip. It is? More than likely, yeah. We'll have to have ten kids to see which one's nuts. No, we won't. <laughs> I've married into a right fucking line of nutters here, haven't I? <laughs> Uh, today.